When you think of Aubrey Plaza, odds are you can't help but picture her as the quirky, larger-than-life character April Ludgate from the hit sitcom Parks and Recreation. And if that isn't the first time you really remember her, then maybe it was more recently on the second season of HBO's The White Lotus. With a personality as out there as Aubrey's, you'd probably expect her to be living in some eccentric home that's as in your face as she can sometimes be. But the truth of the matter is Aubrey's home is not nearly that loud. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you wanna see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After getting her start as an actress in the late 2000s, Aubrey would pay right around $1.6 million for a home located in the Hollywood Hills, one that she would come to share a few years later with her eventual husband, Jeff Bina. Now, keeping with her on-screen persona versus her actual personality, Aubrey almost never updates her fans about her home life or her relationship, probably because she doesn't see it as being all that different from anyone else's. While speaking about her partner in 2013, she once told Cosmopolitan, he's a creative person and we understand each other on that level. When we're together, we like hanging out at home. We're happy having people over and playing Settlers of Catan or Battlestar Galactica. And from what we did manage to dig up about Aubrey's former Hollywood Hills address, it certainly doesn't sound like she's lying. While speaking with the UK newspaper, The Guardian, the media outlet made special note of a deluxe edition of Scrabble just sitting on her kitchen table the entire time. In fact, according to a recent interview with GQ, these two even met over a game of balderdash. So one thing's for sure, Aubrey and her hubby absolutely love their board games. While this Hollywood couple may go above and beyond to keep their private life exactly that, the one thing Aubrey regularly posts updates about are her dogs, and I can't blame her. They're both adorable pooches. Beyond just her affection for these four-legged critters, Aubrey also has an eye for collecting. Just probably not what you'd expect, because if this image is anything to go by, Aubrey isn't out there collecting shoes or Louis Vuitton bags. Instead, she's a big-time DVD and Blu-ray collector. When you put that together, with her obvious love for board games, it all kind of makes sense, right? I mean, Aubrey even relishes dressing up for Halloween, which we can see from this image, also gives us a taste of her surprisingly narrow bare bones kitchen with all white cabinets and a couple small sections of marble countertop. But the most exciting thing to ever happen in the confines of this home went down during the lockdown when Aubrey and Jeff decided to marry one another on a whim. And I'm talking within the span of a single hour. Here's how she explained it to Ellen. OneHourMarriage.com That's real. Look it up. As it turns out, OneHourMarriage.com is apparently a thing that exists. Aubrey also managed to smooth talk the efficient into driving two hours out of his way to perform the ceremony in the couple's own backyard on the anniversary of their first date. Following which, Plaza said that she went across the street to see her neighbor, someone that she claims is a real life witch, just to get her blessing. I created a very quick love altar in my yard. Facts of our love, smoke, fire, things of that nature. Despite hosting a landmark life event right in her very own home, a little over a year later, Aubrey and Jeff would decide to buy a new house together, which left Plaza to list this abode for $2.25 million in August 2022. She'd find a buyer within just weeks and shortly thereafter move into a brand new residence. When Aubrey and Jeff sold their old home, they didn't have all that far to move. Instead, they upgraded to a pristine and elegant Spanish style mansion located just down the street. That's right, in October 2022, Aubrey and Jeff dropped $4.7 million on a different home, but in the very same residential neighborhood of Hollywood Hills. Both her former residence and this new one were originally constructed way back in the 1920s, but Aubrey's newest digs are much bigger and fancier than what she had before. Situated behind large walls and gates on a quarter acre block of land, this three-story home is only a few minutes from Griffith Park. Exteriors offer stucco and a terracotta roof, and it sits on a front yard surrounded by mature trees. Inside, you'll find four bedrooms and six bathrooms spread across a little more than 4,000 square feet of fully restored and glamorous living space. 
The home is full of grand scale rooms, oak floors, high ceilings, arched doorways, wood sash windows, and seamless transitions between indoor outdoor spaces. When you enter the home, a portico topped front door opens to a tiled foyer, which almost immediately steps down into a living room, sporting a whitewashed wood beam ceiling, a brick fireplace, and picture windows that let in a ton of LA sun. Then there's the nearby formal dining room with French doors spilling out the exterior garden, a space we'll circle back to in just a moment. There's also the gourmet kitchen that's been done up with all white cabinets, marble countertops, an apron style sink, stainless steel appliances, dual walk-in pantries, a snack bar island, and most importantly, access to the outdoor dining patio overlooking the property's koi pond. Rounding out the main floor is a cozy den, which will no doubt become the go-to spot to play all those board games that these two enjoy so much, as well as an office that boasts wood beam ceilings and bookshelves. To get upstairs, you can check out the Magnesite staircase that still has all of its original ironwork from the 20s. On the top floor, there's a spacious master suite with a pair of walk-in closets, as well as a bathroom that includes a claw foot soaking tub and separate shower. Three further ensuite bedrooms can also be found up here on the top floor, one of which could easily be transformed into a media room, and another that comes equipped with a sunroom as well as a porch. As for the lowest level, it connects to an attached two car garage, and there's even a climate controlled wine room as well, alongside plenty of storage space. Last but not least is Aubrey's new backyard, a space that's not only big enough to host a massive in-ground pool, but also have enough room left over for a giant cabana that's steam shower ready. Having lived in her former house for roughly four years, how long will Aubrey and Jeff call this new place home? Who knows for sure, but considering how much nicer it is here, maybe this will be the spot where these two finally start a family of their own. Something that was apparently put on hold after the madness of the past couple years had Aubrey concerned about the future future of humanity. Of course, considering these two literally just moved in a few weeks ago, maybe I should give them a little time to get settled before I plan out their next 20 or so years. Especially considering that Aubrey's only more or less just returned from spending five months hold up at the Four Seasons San Domenico Palace while shooting season two of The White Lotus. And stay tuned if you want to see more of that spot. And if you want to see more of that spot though, stay tuned because we will be having a video on that place itself. In the meantime, I sure hope that Aubrey's new home is everything that she wants it to be. All right, that'll wrap up this latest house tour. But before you head out, do me a favor and answer this one question. If the world at large assumed you were one way at home because of how you come across in movies and TV, would you keep it a secret if you were really nothing like your on-screen personality? Let me know what you would do in that situation in the comments down below or maybe another house tour you'd like to see on this channel. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in another one. Bye.